Hi, my name is Rakshit Vasudev. I'm a systems development engineer at the HPC and AI Innovation Lab. The HPC and AI Innovation Lab is our optimal data center that houses uh, state-of-the-art hardware uh, infrastructure. You know, we enable AI and HPC workloads. The data center has about 13, over 1,300 servers, house a, houses a top 500 system, uh, has about uh, 13,000 square foot, um, and you know, contains 10, about 10 petabytes of storage for HPC and AI workloads. The HPC and AI lab has multifaceted objectives. Uh, it helps to work with the customer uh, uh, through POCs and uh, remote access requests. Uh, it, we, we develop best practices, Dell best practices and solutions. We do benchmarking and performance testing. My focus is on AI benchmarking. Um, that involves us working with uh, industry standard benchmarks. One of such AI industry standard benchmarks is MLPerf. MLPerf was founded in 2019 uh, by uh, you know, AI experts across academia, uh, large uh, tech companies, and research institutes. The objective of this was to be able to somewhat replicate the real world benchmarks and MLPerf has been very successful in uh, 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 you know, replicating real world benchmark use cases. As you know, deep learning has many use cases that would involve use cases such as image classification, object detection, natural language processing, uh, recommender systems, you know, so on and so forth. And uh, uh, MLPerf has been very uh, uh, instrumental in trying to replicate the most common rep, uh, used uh, real world use cases, such as image classification, object detection, recommender systems, natural language processing, um, uh, speech to text, and then uh, also medical image uh, segmentation, and also the recommender systems. So these are the, the class of benchmarks that MLPerf aims to serve. Uh, and this has been uh, somewhat widely recognized by the industry to, to assess a way to uh, you know, compare systems uh, performance across the board. Uh, our submissions have been to the MLPerf closed uh, uh, setting, uh, closed division, and then the closed division performs apples to apples comparison. At the time of this recording, uh, MLPerf had its, uh, the latest version of MLPerf submissions was version 1.1 and uh, for training and version 2.0 for inference. Between uh, inference and training, so far we have made about nine submissions. We uh, have submitted across different portfolios, uh, of different uh, servers uh, in our PowerEdge portfolio. We have submissions from XR12, R7525, R750, R750XA, um, XC8545, XC2420, and C4140. So we hope that these variants uh, and the various mixture of our submissions with different accelerators uh, from NVIDIA helps our customers uh, to make informed decisions because these uh, decisions uh, drive uh, the expected workload uh, to manage in, at their uh, data center. I'd like to point out some uh, submissions in the recent uh, version 2.0 for inference. The R750XA outperformed the rest of the, the competitor submissions. When we look at the per card numbers for um, um, you know, image classification, object detection, natural language processing, speech, uh, recommender systems, speech recognition, and medical image segmentation. We hope to address some sizing questions as well. For example, we have made submissions such as one, server with eight GPUs versus two servers with four GPUs. We hope to, um, you know, we hope that customers can look at the multi-node training uh, trade-offs. Another example would be we made submissions with uh, A2 accelerator and T4 accelerator. The hope there is that the customers can uh, uh, see the comparison and, and make the best choice for their edge use cases. While we've had a lot of mixture of submissions and uh, different purposes of our submissions, uh, there is certainly an opportunity to uh, help our customers with uh, collaboration efforts, uh, like you know, uh, helping them with their POCs, 
uh, and then remote access to the cluster and things of that nature, uh, we, we understand that performance benchmarking and developing best practices is, is a continual journey where the, the, uh, the customer's questions are continuously expanding. We hope to serve our customers by answering those questions uh, by means of uh, submission to benchmarks and, and other approaches that we are following at BHPC and AI Innovation Lab. We blog about our results and performance at hpc at dell.com. Uh, please do reach out to your local Dell representative to uh, either get access to remote access to our clusters or to, to, to make other decisions about your hardware acquisition.